So, welcome to Life on Big Row, and it's a bit windy today, a bit blustery. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take this and change it into this. I've chosen this corner of the garden for my little wildlife pond, a bit shaded, uh, plants are growing up around it, and the great thing is that birds can come in and out of the hedge and use it. And you want any kind of water near some kind of covering where animals can dart in and out. Put it in, leveled it off as much as I can. For those of you wondering what this is, this is the top of an old water bottle. And already the rhubarb's aching to get into that. And then it's just a matter of making a wildlife bridge. What we mean by a wildlife bridge is using things that animals can crawl in and bask on. So this is great for frogs and toads and other beetles. And then it's just a matter of filling it about half full with these stones. And the stones do two things. Like I said, it gives somewhere for uh, beasts and bugs to perch, but also it weighs down the little wildlife pond. And it doesn't matter. They don't have to all be the same. It's just a matter of popping them in like so. That's it. Now all we need to do is add water. And here comes the water. And it doesn't matter if the water will be cloudy at first. And it will clear up. And over the season, it's just a matter of making sure that it's nicely topped up. And there's one wildlife pond. Now I could just leave it like that, but obviously around the side I've got no planting other than a comfrey and some geraniums. But there's an aquilegia that's doing really well there and I've got several other aquilegias that I'm just going to plant now. So there's my three aquilegias. I'm just going to put one in there. around here they'll soon bulk out and they'll like it here and finally this one here because I've got a rhubarb just here under my foot growing uh, rhubarb's great as an ornamental as well as an edible and I really recommend them especially around ponds they really like it actually I found over the years and just to give you an idea, if we all started doing this, we all had a pond like this, uh, just in a small space, it can be any size, it benefits bees, butterflies, moths, birds, amphibians, toads, frogs, you name it, it helps. So we need to help as much as we can. And it's a great little pond because all you need to do is come back and top it up every now and again if it's too warm. I reckon that this won't go down uh, over the summer because it's shaded. But what it will do is it'll give a really important link for animals moving through my garden. It'll give them somewhere to feed, it'll give them somewhere to drink, it'll give them somewhere just to sit and rest and enjoy my garden. That's the new wildlife pond. I'm gonna pop loads of them all over the garden. I've got loads of lids that I've come up for water pots that I can reuse and repurpose. And until next time, don't forget, if you enjoy what we do, like and subscribe, the box is in the corner, click the bell, and it'll go ding dong every time we post something up. Uh, but until next time, bye bye.